Good day, everyone. I am Mr. Garth Reed, Student Ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica and Mathematics Teacher in Training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. Today, we're back with a CAPE Integrated Mathematics question, right, in Module 3, which is Calculus. So the question says, evaluate the limit of t squared minus 25 over t plus 5 as t approaches negative 5, all right? Now, whenever you get any limit question, you should always use direct substitution, all right? So we're going to substitute negative 5 anywhere we see t in this fraction here. Let me write solution. All right, so what we have is the limit of t squared minus 25 over t plus 5 as t approaches negative 5. All right, that is what we have. So let me substitute negative 5 now for t into this fraction, so we will have negative 5 squared minus 25, right? And we're going to divide that expression by negative 5 plus 5, all right? Now, negative 5 squared is positive 25, right? Minus 25, and we are dividing that by negative 5 plus 5. Now 25 minus 25 is 0 and negative 5 plus 5 is 0. So what we really have here is 0 over 0. All right, that's what we have. Now you should know that 0 over 0 is what we call indeterminate. All right, indeterminate. So it means that we have to use another method to evaluate this limit. All right, we can use direct substitution. So the method that we're going to use here is factorization. All right. Now, if you realize in the numerator, you have t squared minus 25. All right. Now I can rewrite that. Let me do it down here. I can rewrite that. So t squared minus 25 is equal to t squared minus 5 squared. All right. And we're going to factorize that expression because that is the difference of squares. All right. Now I have the difference of squares up here. That's the rule. So if you have a squared minus b squared, that is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. All right, so if we're gonna factorize t squared minus five squared, that is going to be equal to t minus five multiplied by t plus five. All right, so that is the, the factored form. So what we can do is this. We can now say the limit of t squared minus 25 over t plus 5 as t approaches negative 5, all right, that is going to be equal to the limit. We can now replace the t squared minus 5 in the numerator with its factored form, which is t minus 5 multiplied by t plus 5. All right, and we have to divide that expression by t plus 5. All right, so if you observe carefully, the term that was making the 0 over 0 happening here, right, the term that was making that happening, the 0 over 0, is the t plus 5 term. All right, because when we plug in negative 5 here, we'll get negative 5 plus 5 which will give us zero, all right? So the t plus five is the redundant term. 
So clearly we can, we can cancel those terms, right? We can cancel the term in the numerator and denominator. So what we have left is the limit T approaches negative five of, we now have T minus five remaining. All right. So let us now go back to direct substitution. Now, if you substitute negative five inside, you will get negative five minus five, all right, which we know is negative 10, all right? And that is the answer, all right? Negative 10 is our answer for this limit. So whatever, whatever limit that you're given, you will try direct substitution first, all right, try direct substitution first. And if you get zero over zero, it means that you will have to do some factorization. All right. If this video has helped you in any way, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica and mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. All right. Thank you for joining.